Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Please don't try to make anything fit that doesn't. Okay, we have the Empress here. Lavish abundance with seven of water. A complex decision. So not only are there a lot of options before someone uh, needing to make a decision here, but someone's definitely fantasizing about the other, but fantasizing about a future. Okay, the what the possibilities are that they could have. I replay our conversations over and over. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, somebody's definitely thinking about the past as well okay dwelling on the future overall energy we have page of cups this is about a new phase of love beginning here as well as uh, wanting to uh, smooth things over okay bring love into the situation so let's see what's going on in your energy this week someone's definitely dwelling in their emotions this week Seven of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Magician. So I see when it comes to finances here, uh, you've really been working hard, okay, saving for some of you, especially of those of you that have been wanting to go on vacation. It looks like you are going to have uh, enough that you need if you've been worried about it. That's just for a select few here. But I do see that things are going to pick up uh, in your favor when it comes to feeling like you have more and feel more comfortable in your life. So I do see that uh, some of you feel like you might work a lot or work really hard but not get enough back. Uh, and that's something that has bothered you here for quite a while. Okay, and I see with the Seven of Wands, this is something where you feel like, okay, I need to now focus on my needs. I see you feel really empowered this week that uh, some things you were hesitant to make a decision on, you now see that it's a really good decision or you see the value come from it here. So let's see what's going on with your person's energy. And I see in regards to them, you feel like, okay, I need to focus on myself at this time. Uh, and really, you know, focus on what I need to uh, clear my mind as well as peace and harmony in your life. The Emperor, King of Swords, and the High Priestess. So the person you're dealing with, uh, you might think that they're gone. They are not. They've been definitely behind the scenes here thinking of a logical plan, okay? Knowing that they need to do something different this time. They've been thinking about you constantly here. And for some of you, this is a soul tie. There is a spiritual union here because they've been trying to send you telepathic messages, okay? If it's not this, they're sending energy your way. This is something they feel they need to speak about as well as uh, take control back over this connection by expressing and exposing some truth to you about what they truly want with you in the future. Something that they've never done before. Time with the Emperor. Four of Wands. This person is turning over a new leaf. They're seeing things differently. Uh, they're also seeing that they want differently for them in their life. Something that they never thought that they would actually care about or want. Uh, and this is about stability here, making uh, an actual family as well as long-term stability. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past here. Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles in the Tower. So uh, this was a really disappointing situation. I see that there was an opportunity here for this person to uh, really invest in you and invest in this connection to where they could nurture it and make it uh, progress long term. But what I see is they let it slip through their fingers. And since the opportunity was missed, they were really hard on themselves. They regretted making certain decisions as well as not making a decision with you. Uh, and this became uh, really vital to what was going on in their environment. So things kind of unraveled here. There are some details that you were unaware of that were unfolding in their life because they didn't make a decision, okay? As well as not letting you know that they had this opportunity here, okay, to really uh, commit to you in this. Uh, tell me about the Five of Cups. Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Yeah, all of a sudden it hit their confidence. 
they regretted the decision that they made uh, and it really chipped away at their self-esteem making them think okay I have lost everything here there's no way moving forward I'm not gonna get another chance like I had so there is a big barrier something unexpected has uh, happened it's almost like the universe has really stepped in here with the tower torn old ways down old foundations here because how they were acting or being uh, very hesitant to uh, make a decision giving into two situations as well for some with the two of Pentacles uh, the universe put a stop to it and said okay you did you had the opportunity you didn't choose that so what do you desire and things started to unfold in their environments some of this tower king of cups this was a big blow to this person and some of you I see did know a little bit but not the details for others of you you have no idea you might have felt like this person just ran okay so let's see what the challenge was here five of wands ace of cups eight of Pentacles there was a fear of success also a fear of failure because I see there's two spectrums here. This person was too afraid if they did make a decision and go all in that they would not succeed, that you would eventually leave them, they wouldn't be successful in making you happy. But I also see that they fear if they were successful, could they keep up with it? Could they continue to make you happy long term? Okay, so there, there's uh, two aspects here. But I do see they caused a lot of conflict and problems, okay, for some of you as well, drama, uh, where it was hard to deal with. It seemed like they could be overly sensitive at times and uh, make things all about them and conversations uh, to where, you know, their feelings might have been hurt, but how they reacted to you, they would push you away, okay? And not, you wouldn't have an answer for this, and so you would think, oh, they're just, they're acting weird now. What's going on? They didn't put a lot of effort in and with the ace of cups this stayed at the beginning stages this connection never progressed from when you initially got with this person because it's showing you are very loyal you never wavered in your feelings for them and always letting them know that you were there for them even when it got hard to deal with okay so uh you're very consistent here tell me the five of wands Hereupon, Six of Cups, for some of them, they could be in a committed situation already. Uh, and something that they kind of got stuck in here with the Five of Wands that they weren't happy about to begin with. So they feel very responsible and feels like uh, that's keeping them stuck. If you're not in a third party, this person has trouble committing to things, very indecisive in general, and fear making a mistake, no matter which way they turn or what they decide to do. They always uh, have this deep-seated fear that they're going to mess it up, okay? Uh, so let's see what action they take here this week. And I see in the current moment, it's like they've uh, pulled up their bootstraps here and figured out, you know, I don't need to be in this energy where I'm always, you know, worried about the, the future, thinking about the past, and overwhelms with this fantasizing about what they want. Now they see that they don't need to fantasize anymore. They need to take action. They need to do something about this. We have Five of Swords, Empress, and the Temperance card. Someone's about to get what they want no matter what. Will not be defeated uh, by any means in the situation. And this is about restoring balance and a new beginning here. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys dearly. As always, I'll see you next time.